My people, oh, no be small matter, oh, he he he. I beg, make this one they happen, no. Oh, I am happy about it, oh, my correct, correct people. Mm -hmm. I love it. When I mean I love it, I love it. Yes, so. Anyway, sure. Now, God is, is the handwork of God. So, there is this alleged information we heard concerning Ati Blue Blue. Oh. Hmm. He said that Auntie Blue Blue stormed the palace, allegedly. You know that uh, the thing started with Olori, Olori Mariam. That she, after traveling and getting some kind of juju, that she thought that is going to work in the palace. She entered the palace, my correct people. As she entered, hmm, she can't carry her matter for I don't know which, where she go get the thing, where she carry come. Immediately she came into the palace, they said that the palace started chasing her. And she started scratching her whole body, itches everywhere. Hmm. My people. As we can rejoice said uh until if we know enter palace again because we heard that if she enters the palace, the thing will be worse. But if she leaves the palace, she go there okay. You're gonna thank God, say hey, may make the thing they worse now each time when she enters palace at least. The palace, she said that she don't want to leave. May she leave the palace by fire by force. Okay, well, now, the same thing where we come to here, say, Ati Blue Blue too. You know, say, they, they are best of the same feather. So, if this thing, if anything that is happening to this person, happen to the other person, it's not bad thing now. Not good thing. Because the two of them, they work hand in hand. So, we come to here, say, Ati B, Ati Blue Blue, sorry, Ati Blue Blue. The family stomp palace to see the king. If like I say she come come back on her own. Okay, okay, it, that that was when they said that they came to see the the king concerning her sickness because since after that artifact of a thing, since after that artifact, she have not been herself. The artifact she brought into the palace and she denied that she's not she was not the one that brought it. When she lived when she left the palace, the thing followed her to where she she went to. And started disturbing her. That since after that time, that Auntie Blue Blue have not been herself. She she have been sick. She have been sick all this while because, you no know, say if you are dealing with spirit, hmm, if you are not also spiritual, you will, you will get problem. Yes, and you know that that artifact. I don't know. I don't know the kind of spirit where the thing follow come on, because the thing really really touch the palace. And talk talk about the person that brought it into the palace, and the one thing about this artifact is that now that thing we brought it, that thing is not just artifact because when they measure, when they say artifact, artifact simply means uh, 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 this construction something they constructed with wood. That one is uh, uh, spiritually there is something spiritually attached to that one. That that one is like like um, a, a, a deity. Yes, it's not just artifact. So they say that Auntie Blue Blue, since after she encountered all those problems with Dark Tatifat, she has not been herself. This is how the thing has been disturbing her, troubling her, like say tomorrow, no day. Okay, now we heard that when she came to the palace with her own, with her family, family members to come and see the king. Initially, they started accusing Mariam to, that it was Mariam that did what is, uh, is, is happening to their daughter. Okay, now... After Mariam, they thought that it was the king that used a ancient sword on their daughter. Now, what they say that when the daughter now stopped, uh, dropped in the palace, when they dropped her in the palace, she wanted to use her leg to come closer to the place where the king is. Immediately, she reached there and sat down. She started seeing alligator. She started shouting. She wasn't just scratching her neck region and the uh, tummy. She started shouting, oh, hey, alligator, oh, alligator. And they say, look at it there, look at it there. And this is what she, we heard allegedly that she, she was shouting during that time she saw the uh, uh, artifact. The time the artifact followed her to her place. Although they have taken it back where they brought it from. So now she was, we heard that she had been crying, shouting, hey, uh, alligator, alligator, look at it there, look at it there. And she screamed back to the car and they took her out, uh, out of the palace. That is to show you that anytime she stormed the palace, alligator will be pursuing her. 
And some people have been saying that it's not alligator that is pursuing how that it be like saying nah, the king don't use the sword on them. That ancient sword. But the king cannot use it because the king loves his wives. Others are saying that it was uh, Yami Osoronga that is Afra or Lori Blue Blue. Others say that it's this God, the God of Winomi that is pursuing her. Because if she come to the palace, <laughs> The thing go there was now listen to what they happened to Auntie Blue Blue to um, Auntie Igbi. If they come to the palace, they will, the thing will be worse. If they leave the palace, they will be comfortable. As in, nothing will be worrying them. Even if the thing is they worry them, it will be minor. In short, as we heard allegedly that when they leave the palace, they used to be okay. Apart from Auntie Blue Blue that have been sick, oh, you know, suffering from spiritual attack because that that is actually confirmed spiritual attack because she really suffered from spiritual attack in the hands of that artifact come, uh, come to uh, adding this particular one now this particular scratching of a thing which you don't know what have caused it you see so they said that she had been screaming oh artifact oh oh look at it there oh and those people that she's showing the artifact the, not artifacts a spiritual alligator, a big alligator. They can't see anything. It is only had I seen it. And you see, my people, is this one not good news? This is correct good news. At least, Auntie B, Auntie, Auntie Blue Blue, the two of them will no longer cross the palace. Yes, because they refuse to live in peace. They want to live in pieces. Hey, anyway, my career people, make not forget saying that alleged information, no, because me, I was not there, oh, now here I hear, and as I hear, I will share with you. So, what do you think about this? Tell me what you have to say at the comment section. Are you happy as I am that Auntie B and Auntie Blue Blue, they are now out of the palace for good? At least the Queen Naomi will not come to the palace anytime she wants to come. Queen Naomi will now return back to the palace fully. Thank God that even Toby's own, that one has been cancelled. Love you guys. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Bye.